Welcome folks to a short video. Uh, this is regarding an issue that a student of mine was having regarding importing animations into Unreal Engine. And um, it did actually have me uh, flummoxed um, for a while. I couldn't quite figure it out. It's actually very, very simple, uh, the answer, but um, I'd never come across this issue before when I've been importing animations, say, for doing characters. So as you can see here, it's a very basic animation that I've got going on here with this uh, frog. Now, this is a, a donated by uh, the student, and uh, it's a fairly low poly frog. But uh, I put like a quick rig in there uh, in Maya and just did a very, very basic animation. So there's no skin waiting, there's nothing like that, but it's just really just to show the movement. So let's have a look and see how I achieve this. So we're going to hit escape. It's going to go through to through to um, Maya. <clears throat> And what we've got here is basically, um, I'll just click off in there for a minute. So you can see there, I'll just take away the uh, X-ray joints. So you can see the original animation of uh, the character there. So it's all fairly straightforward. So once you've done something like this, where you've got like a little animation, so it could be like a, it could be a character, it could be a creature, or it could be something else. It could be something like uh, doors opening or, or what have you. Uh, but the issue is when exporting, and when exporting, you can't just go uh, to, you know, file and say export selection. It doesn't work that way. So what you have to do is you have to get the outliner open. Let's just stop this a second. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click and hold and just um, uh, select all of the character. And that is including as well. So I'm just going to turn the X-ray joints on again. So you should basically encompass everything. The, the joints, the skin, or the uh, the controls are not really that important, but um, essentially that's it. So once you've selected them, what you need to do is you need to go through to File. But this time, instead of Export Selection, you need to go to Game Exporter. Now you'll see here, we've got a few things going on. So this is all sort of default. It may be set on like Export All. You're gonna need to change it over to Export Selection. Uh, these are set by default. Make sure animations uh, uh, checked. Where it says FBX version, make sure it's FBX 2014, 2015. You're going to need to create a folder. So I'm going to go through to desktop. I'll create another folder. I'll call this frog4 because I've done this a few times. There we go. I'm going to open that. So that's all there. So we've got that for the model. Next, we need to go through to Animation Clips and do the same thing again. Make sure it's on Export Selection. Now, you, there may not be anything here, so what you'll do is you'll click on the plus sign and just give it a name, so I'll call this Frog Anim. Okay? You can call it whatever you want, but I'll call it Frog Anim. Bakes uh, Animation is selected. Make sure that it's on FBX uh, version 2014 to 2015. And again, you'll need to select the folder. So you just go, go forward and find your folder, which is there. So this is where we're going to be exporting to. And you can give it a name as well. I've called this rig. I think it's the same in the other one, actually. Rig as well. So you can call it, um, just give it a name there. Once you've done that, go to export. Give it a second. There we go. Export successful. Close that down. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back through to Unreal Engine. So you'll leave that open. And let's go and have a look and see about uh, bringing another frog in here. So I'm going to create another folder here. So I'm going to right click, new folder. I'll call this frog4. Double click. And I'm going to go to add import. And then to import to game. And let's go and find our folder, which is there. There's our uh, rig frog anim, anim. And then my uh, monitor's doing a bit of a funny thing. You can't actually see the bottom of it, but essentially at the bottom, you just need to make sure that a few of these things are, you know, like import animations are clicked. At the very bottom, you just see the, the tops of it there. It should say import all, right? 
So I'm going to move this onto my other monitor. It's probably because I've got monitors set up. And just go import all. And then it'll import your files. Then what you can do is you can put in the skeletal mesh first. So I'll drag that in. And we'll drag that up. more just rotate move that back and we haven't got any color on there at the moment but uh, we'll come to that in a minute so with the um, the frog rig a uh, rig frog anim what we need to do is when it comes to the animations animation mode here if I just move that out we want to use instead of the blueprint want to use the animation asset so you see here so the animation to play will be our animation so click and hold with left mouse button and then drag that over into it All right it's not playing at the moment because we're not in the play mode and also it's just compile the color as well so we've got that there if you want to kind of give it a different color you can do uh, but we'll stick with green and the only thing left to do now is hit play hey presto so that's it folks hopefully you found this video useful uh, any questions uh, please let me know leave a comment subscribe to the channel and uh, until next time folks thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye for now